This video is sponsored by GE. Hey, what's going on people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today we have an interesting video for you. We're gonna be taking a look at that. That is the GE Profile Clearview Window Air Conditioner. And in case you can't tell just by looking at it, it offers a clear view straight outside your window, which is the unique selling factor of this AC. So let's talk about it. I have it installed over in Dennis's house because he needed a good window unit in his office in order to uh, save some money on his power bill so that way he doesn't have to cool down his entire home, just his office. So this should help in that aspect. And today we're gonna be talking about the setup, the special features that this unit offers, and why you might wanna consider getting this for yourself. First and foremost, let's talk about what comes inside the box. You get some basic paperwork, installation instructions, and a warranty card. You get the air conditioner itself, which already has the adjustable supports installed. We'll talk about that later. Then you get a remote control. You get one foam spacer, a foam top window gasket, a cut to size foam adhesive weather stripping, two foam mounting supports, a cut to size foam side panel, side panel brackets, you get a window wedge for security, so that way the window cannot be opened from the outside once the unit is installed. And then you get a couple screws and a sash lock if you need added security if the window wedge isn't enough for you. Installing the unit on your window is pretty straightforward and easy. The install instructions are easy to understand in terms of the verbiage, but the pictures could use a little bit more work, but nonetheless, we got it done. It took us less than 30 minutes to get everything up and running. I do have a few tips for you. You're gonna need a razor blade or a pair of scissors, whichever you're more comfortable with using or both in order to cut the foam. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna need a tape measure and an extra person that last one's really important so that way you don't break your back. You're going to be doing a lot of measuring during the install process. You're gonna be measuring the width of the window as well as the distance from the window sill to the outside wall in order to cut the foam properly and to align the AC properly so that way it is completely level. Luckily, the Profile Clearview unit features an industry-exclusive flex depth feature. It can accommodate walls and windows from 4.5 inches to 13.75 inches thick. The way that it works is you unscrew the four locking screws. You have two on the left of the unit and two on the right. Once those are out, you can extend the unit to four different positions, including the closed position. To find out what position your unit needs to be set at, look in the install instructions, there's a chart. Once you find that position, put the unit in that position, place the locking screws back in and tighten them back down. So here's a quick little tip or hack for you if you live here in the US and you want a clean looking setup like I have here. If you have the plug and it's right below your window, you can flip your outlet upside down. That way the bottom of the plug for the window unit is facing up and then you can remove the slack in the cord giving you a much cleaner look. If you're not comfortable with minor electrical work, avoid this, but if you're comfortable, it should be pretty easy and straightforward or you can always call an electrician. Once everything is said and done and the unit has been installed, you can see it looks really clean. I love the fact that this has minimal obstruction when it comes to the window. So I can perfectly see out of the window whenever I want. And I love the fact that the foam is level with the unit itself. So when you lower the blinds, it doesn't create a funky look and you don't have to do that weird cut in the center of the blinds to get a nice looking aesthetic. It just looks really modern. Speaking of modern, let's take a closer look at the window unit itself because it actually has a sleek design. So here's a close up look of the unit itself and you can see exactly what I mean by its sleek and modern looking design. Uh, we have our vents up top. These are not auto sweeping vents. You do have to manually adjust them and put them in the position that you want to put them in. And you can do that just by holding on to the, one of the little levers and then just adjusting it. Very easy to do. I do wish that it did have auto sweeping. Hopefully in the future, um, maybe in a different design, they can add that feature. But for the most part, the manual works just fine. Then we have our buttons right up here on the front. Um, very minimal. Like I said, they're not intrusive whatsoever. We have a power button. We have a sleep button. We have our temperature and time buttons. Um, the time button is meant for adjusting the delay setting. Then we have our speed settings. We have auto, quiet, medium, and high. Then we have our modes, which consist of cool, fan, eco, and dry. We have our filter button that also doubles as a filter reset and also a sound on and off button. So if you want to get rid of the beeps that happen whenever you hit a button, just press and hold on the filter button and it will kill those sounds. We also have a Wi-Fi button because this does feature Wi-Fi control as well as geolocation. And you can check out how much energy is being used whenever you have this set up in the app 
which I'll show you here in just a second. So going back to the design of the units real quick, you can see that over sill design and how this is sitting completely flush against the wall while most of the bulk is outside the window, which I'm totally fine with that because I would rather have a nice minimalistic look here and then all the bulk be out there. It just creates a cleaner look and I'm really happy with the aesthetics of this window unit. Another reason why I really like this design is the fact that the window is still fully functional. So I can open the window and I don't have to worry about the unit falling out or anything like that. You can see it is solid, so I can get some nice fresh air in, and then when I'm done, I can just shut the window, and that's it. I can close the blinds, just like so, and look at that. Like, this design, I'm telling you, is next level for window units. So now let's talk about specs. The unit that I have here is the 6100 BTU units. It can cool down small rooms from 150 to 250 feet. If you have a medium sized room, then you might want to look at the 8300 BTU units. However, in my experience using window units, I have no doubt that this particular AC can easily cool down rooms larger than 250 feet. However, you won't be getting the recommended efficiency just because this unit is going to have to work harder to cool down a much larger space. But in a clutch, this can definitely do the job. So here's an interesting fact for you when it comes to the design of this AC. Consumer focus groups show a 40% higher preference of this particular AC versus its nearest competitor. I found that pretty interesting. Not only is this unit powerful and efficient, it's also extremely quiet. In fact, I would say that it's ultra quiet. GE says that it can get as low as 41 dB, and it's one of, if not the quietest window ACs in the US. And we're gonna test that out right now. All right, so to test out the sound of the AC units, I'm about eight feet away, give or take a few inches. And I have a decibel meter here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a reading of the room noise. So there we go, about 42.6 for the room noise. Now I'm gonna go ahead and power on the unit. So I'm gonna turn it on, and then I'm going to put it in quiet mode. And there you go. So just under 44 dB, in terms of how loud it is. And like I said, this is probably under eight feet. It's probably not exactly eight feet away. Um, so I would say that's really quiet. So here's the crazy thing. I went ahead and turned the AC on high, which is the most powerful setting. And look at this. It's around 48, a little bit more than 48 dB. That is not a huge jump. And that is blowing some ice cold air right now. I briefly mentioned earlier that this unit does have app support and you can control it using the Smart HQ app. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. You can see once inside, you're greeted with all your GE smart home devices. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the air conditioner here, and I can view my energy usage, which I talked about earlier, but also I can turn on the unit. So I just turned it on, and then once it's on, I can control the temperature. I can also control the mode, so I can put it in cool, fan, dry, or energy saver. And then I can also control the fan speed. So I can put it on low. And once I'm happy, I can just tap set. What's great is you can perform tons of automation with this unit. So if I go under automation, I can start setting up different events so it can be triggered to turn on as soon as I get home or I can tie it into other smart home devices. Speaking of automation, another cool thing is that this ties in with your favorite voice assistant. Whether you're using Google Assistant or Amazon's platform, just tapping on extras shows you what you can do here. So I have it set up for Amazon, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example. Alexa, turn off window unit. Okay. You can see it just turned off the window unit. I can also say, Alexa, turn on window unit. Okay. Alexa, set window unit to 70. Energy saver is keeping the temperature around 70. So you can see it works completely with Amazon and Google Assistant, and that is fantastic. And if you pair that with the automation that you can do with this unit, you can literally trigger tons of different um, scenes or other automated events. If for some reason you don't care about app support or smart home automation, they do include a remote in the box. With this remote, you can control the power, the fan speed, adjust the modes, they have a dedicated quiet button for the quietest setting possible, a delay button, and a plus and minus button for adjusting the temperature. 
However, I highly recommend using the app, if not for the smart home automation, at least for the filter status, that way you can clearly see when you need to maintenance the filter. Speaking of maintenance, let me show you how this works. So to access the filter, you're just gonna pop off the front right here, just like so, and this pops off. Then you can pull out the filter, give it a good washing. You can wash it with a garden hose in your sink. Just be thorough, but also be somewhat delicate because you don't want to damage the filter. Let it dry. Once it's fully dry, put it back in, put the front back on just like so. The other part of maintenancing this unit comes down to the water filter. So whenever the air filter gets cleaned and you service it, you also need to take care of the water filter. Same day, same time. So to access the water filter, you're going to unscrew this little cap. And then that gives you access to draining the water out and also pulling out the water filter and cleaning it. Once it's clean, you can put it back in and then just screw this cap on and then reset the filter indicator. And that's it. That's all you have to do when it comes to maintenancing this unit. So there you go. That was a look at the GE Profile Clearview Window Air Conditioner. And I have to say, I love love this design. I love how it looks on the window and I love how it doesn't obstruct anything in terms of visibility out of the window. Let me know what you think of this window unit. Is it something that you're interested in or are you looking at something else like a portable AC? I really like this. It does a great job at cooling down the room per Dennis and it's actually saving him money on his electrical bill, which is definitely a plus. You can find links down in the description if you want to check this out for yourself. It's also not badly priced whatsoever. The 6100 BTU unit behind me is around 429 bucks, but if you want the larger 8300 BTU unit, it's only $479. That is not a big price difference. And like I said, it does a fantastic job at cooling down a home. Let me know what you think. Sound off down below in the comment section. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.